Science, like music, is a global language. It's a language that is spoken in centres and museums around the world, actively engaging millions of people everywhere. Right now, somewhere in the world, a person working at a Science Central Museum is engaging people to understand, protect and respect our planet. Science centers are unique in that they convey information in a hands-on, memorable and social way. They are safe places to be curious, pose questions and use scientific reasoning to grasp difficult concepts. These are venues where we don't confuse opinion with fact. More than 180 studies from around the world show that interactive exhibitions increase visitors' knowledge and understanding of science. Our visitors are children and teenagers, the critical agents of change. Teachers, we complement and enrich their approach. Adults, we equip them to grasp the many dimensions of science. Today, our planet is under pressure. The Worldwide Science Centre and Museum community, a network of hundreds of institutions, is powerful and ready for action. This community is enabling people everywhere to understand and act on issues concerning their environment. Je vous remercie, vous qui représentez des milliards de personnes, de m'écouter moi qui parle au nom d'un tout petit peuple. Mais je vais vous parler d'un projet local. One of my visions is like making it more cost effective. Like you have to pay for everything, like solar panels, windmills, all the stuff like that. When it should be cost effective, like for regular people to be able to conserve and reduce and do stuff like that. When they can't, because sometimes it's really expensive. When Everybody should be able to do it because everybody needs to do their part saving the planet. Buongiorno a tutti, qui dallo studio di Trento. Passiamo subito alla notizia del giorno. Come possiamo notare? C'è un grandissimo The vision campo. is for a sustainable world. Quale sarà il rimedio per tutti? This will only be achieved with the support of an informed public and by helping millions to see what role they can play. Here's what we're doing to help make the Deer Park Lake cleaner. Uh, really, the first thing we'll look at is the, the living roof. They also, if, if more houses in the city and businesses had green roofs, um, it would reduce the heat island effect, they call it. So having green roofs cool down cities require then less air conditioning in the summer. These two components are part of the outreach program, so they're portable travelers that can pack up pretty small and be taken out into the community, to fairs, festivals, and into classrooms and schools. This exhibit is called Reduce Your Energy Budget, and it's all about the individual trade-offs that you can do to reduce your energy. I want somebody to come and help me. Yeah, to come out and stay busy. Yes, come out. Give a round of applause. Okay, so this is a, he's a green iguana, and if you look closely, can you see where his eyes are? The creativity, so ideals and courage of young people are powerful forces, also being harnessed by the Science and Museum Network. You can come down to the Investigate Lab. Here, you can choose your specimens to examine. This is what's happening to that ocean I talked about where the currents are coming from the north. Our common goal 
is to strengthen the position of science centers as active and successful players in the Rio Plus 20 process and beyond. Success to us would look like this, a plan to harness this momentum and be a partner in advancing the agenda that emerges from the conference and from Rio in June. We call for a strategic plan that channels the energy of science centers and museums to advance a UN outreach strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by saying that our vision is to move toward a sustainable world. We all hope for a powerful plan of action, but even the most ambitious program will need to be complemented by effective public engagement. This is what science centers bring to the table. other than science centres, is curiosity the only requirement and guiding principle for exploring and learning? Small world star.